you can build a retro-inspired gadget using Adafruit's Pi Portal, CircuitPython, and 3D printing. This project was inspired by Dana Sibera, aka NanoRaptor, whose Photoshop renderings give us a peek into an alternative past filled with whimsical computers. This 3D printed enclosure resembles a 3.5 inch floppy disk, also known as the iconic save button. Unlike the original storage devices, this one uses CircuitPython to act like a small USB drive that also shows files on the device's colored TFT display. The files on disk are shown as icons with file names. In my build, audio files, folders, and images are rendered as classic icons from Mac OS 9. You can tap on the next and previous icons to see more files so you can page through all of the documents stored on disk. The Pi Portal is an IoT dev board featuring an AtSamD51 and an ESP32 chip bundled with a 3.2 inch color TFT. The code for this project was written in CircuitPython by Amberella using the Display.io libraries. CircuitPython's native graphics and custom fonts made this project easy. Check out the learn guide for a full breakdown of how the code works and how you can customize the bitmap images to make it your own. You could easily skin this design for your favorite operating system look and feel. Our enclosure was designed in Fusion 360 and snap fits together to make an easy assembly. Check out our GitHub repo to get 3D models of Adafruit boards. You can choose your favorite colored filament to 3D print the parts on an FDM 3D printer. The Pi Portal features mounting tabs that are secured to the built-in standoffs using hardware screws and nuts. The back cover snap fits onto the case and features openings for the USB port and micro SD slot along with a button actuator for the reset button. The sliding door is 3D printed separately in a silver colored filament and snap fits onto the slot on the front side of the case. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's Pi Portal and CircuitPython for your next whimsical project idea.